I'm Rob Ryan with Doing Good in Our Neighborhood, where we feature organizations, individuals, businesses, and groups that do good for others. I'm talking to Sherry Wallace, the promoter for Partners in Policymaking, and Nicole Lucas, a special education teacher and advocate for her sister. And we're going to be talking about disability advocacy training. Well, first of all, Sherry, why is there a need for disability advocacy training? Partners in Policymaking was created 35 years ago by an individual who realized that just given a few bits of training, parents who need changes in government or the laws could easily represent themselves to a legislative committee. From that came the idea of bringing parents, raising children with disabilities together, and also adults with disabilities, to just teach them some basic education. They cover the history and how to speak up if you're talking to a school, if you're talking to county government, in front of your legislator. Oftentimes, people don't understand the perspective of a family or an individual who has a disability. In fact, many of those folks feel so withdrawn or overwhelmed, they can barely speak up for themselves. Nicole, how are, have you been affected by disability advocacy training and, and partners in policymaking? It's given me a lot of knowledge about the rights that they have. It gives me a lot of confidence, the practice of speaking in front of various people, whether it's legislators or peers or other parents. It gives me a direction of, of where to go with what my sister needs. It's made you stronger. How has it made you better at doing that? It has given me a lot of tools and resources. If I don't know the answer, I have no places now to ask and where to find those answers. Sherry, what specifically does a training involve? Training involves a Friday, Saturday every month for eight months and individuals coming together. And through the process of this training, they become a very powerful support group for each other. They're from all over Minnesota. And they start learning about the history of how people with disabilities have been treated in the past. Then they start focusing on the schools. What are the laws related to the schools and how should parents be involved with the school? Then focusing on the county, then going into housing, then talking about jobs for people with disabilities. And eventually they meet with their legislature. In that process, they're learning how to speak up. How about the cost for the training, Sherry? The cost for the participant is free. The federal government was so convinced that this training program makes a difference in the family and in the individual to really have people to become strong on their own two feet, and this is the citizen we want. Nicole, in your view, are there things that need to be addressed and corrected? Oh, 100% across the board. I was a bit of different in some of the other family members that were there because my sister is out of the school system. She is 39 and I'm her guardian. And because of COVID, many day programs have shut down. My sister and her three roommates in her group home have had no place to go during the day. Nothing to give them purpose to get out of bed. It's affected at least my sister's mental health, my sister's physical health. And this program partners has helped me be able to go on CCX Media and various news outlets to share that information because my sister, Chelsea, is not going to be able to tell people, I'm bored out of my mind, I have nothing to do, and nobody is doing anything about it. Words of advice for caregivers, Nicole? Don't give up. You're not alone. There are people out there that can help you. Just stick with it. Don't get frustrated. Don't get bogged down by people that don't want to pay for these kind of things. It's the right of the individuals that we speak up for. And in closing, Sherry, tell us about partners and policymaking and the upcoming uh, training. We're now open for applications. You can find them on the internet by just searching Partners in Policymaking Minnesota. It's for Class 40. And July 15th is the application deadline. So the September session starts September 18th. Nicole, what is your sister dealing with? She has a chromosome abnormality that affects her, and she is deaf. She has speech apraxia, so she is nonverbal, and epilepsy and developmental disabilities. And Sherry, finally, Partners in Policymaking. Tell us about that. It is a program where 35 individuals come together at a hotel in Minneapolis. All expenses are paid. Individuals from outside of the Twin Cities get to stay in the hotel room. The education is incredible because these are experts coming from around the country 
They are talking about their expertise of how to speak up, understanding the laws, how to testify in front of a committee, the ADA and how that affects or actually the whole history of disability law. But it gives people a sense of they can do something. Basic element is that they speak up. They will learn to tell their story. I'm Rob Ryan with Sherry Wallace, the promoter for Partners in Policymaking, and Nicole Lucas, a special education teacher and advocate for her sister. If you know of an organization, individual, group, business, or others doing good in our neighborhood, let me know by emailing rob at kkln.com. We are here to help the helpers.